Kamala Harris made history on Wednesday being the first woman of color to be sworn in as vice president. Harris received her education in public service at Howard University back in the 80s. She was a part of the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority, an organization that prides themselves on serving their communities. We know that Kamala Harris, um, she is a woman of, of service. Her entire life, her career, her mother basically raised her that way. And if you're going to become a woman of Alpha Kappa Alpha, that's the exact same thing you do. Across the globe, AKAs donned their pink, green, and pearls to honor one of their own. For many, seeing a woman as vice president wasn't something they thought they would ever see. I just feel really blessed to be able to see this. No, I mean, I didn't even think it was possible to see an African-American president. But to see that in my lifetime, that I've seen two major um, steps in you know, history um, for African-American people or you know, people of color, um, I mean, the pride, yeah, it was incredible. But the work doesn't stop here. The many women in politics before her helped pave the way for Vice President Harris to be here today. Harris marked plenty of firsts for the history books today, but the hope is she isn't the last in her position. That's telling us that, no, it's not over. I mean, this is just the beginning. Um, we're just continuing the movement. You know, this should, this should just let anybody know you can do absolutely anything that you want, especially if you're a girl of color. There should be no, there should, there's going to be boundaries, but the boundary within yourself, it should no longer be there.